Hello everyone, today we'll be playing Whizbang the Great and Whizbang the Mighty and we have Gul'dan hopefully the better deck Ectomancy, the worst the worst deck okay, let's maybe try like that, I will keep the Gul'dan we're playing against a druid though. Okay, so I will play the crystallizer as the librarian can be killed with the hero power. He's going to wild growth anyway. I will save the coin for the Gul'dan, I think. And now I will just play these two minions. I made them in the wrong order. I should firstly draw. But it didn't matter. Doom Guard. It is very risky to play gold uh, to play Doom Guard while I have Gul'dan in my hand. So I don't know. Swipe. Just like that. My board goes away. <laughs> now I have two Doom Guards. I will be guaranteed to discard the Gul'dan. What a beautiful deck. If only uh, uh, instead of the Ectomancy there was a School of the Manari, this hand would be great. Okay, let's see what can we draw. Them on fire. Just plus two plus two. And he has already seven mana. This game is not winnable from this point. Now he can just play this spreading plague and win the game. Nourish draw three, so he needs to draw the spreading plague. Here's the tyrant. And just a spell stone. The question now is do I play this Doom Guard? Doom Guard. I mean, if I discard the other Gul'dan and the Flame Imp, I'm just fine. Let's go for it. <laughs> okay. I will trade those in and just go face. With this, playing a little bit around the plague. I don't know if that is a good idea or not. He drew some cards, so yeah, it is likely that he draws the plague. I could probably even sacrifice the crystallizer, just go into the 4-4 for, for, for no value, okay. This is a demon, right? Okay, so. First, we're gonna draw. Ectomancy is almost good there, it's almost a Doom card. A little bit too expensive. So let's just buff this one. And try to kill these Scarabs. Might as well play the Flame Imp. 
And next turn we can actually play the Ectomancy. That's unusual with this deck. No another spreading plague. That's fine ish. Soul of the Forest. That's terrible. And we have the best card ever in this deck. No demons in hand. I can buff all demons in my hand. So let's kill this one. The Crystallizer and just play the Ectomancy. Kill this one. Kill everything and die. I will just die. Because he will buff them, plus 2, plus 0. And I will be dead next turn. Knight in life. 2, 4, 6, 7. Probably 2 buffs. <coughs> Plenty. And we have the swipe for the finish. As expected. Maybe I shouldn't keep the Gul'dan or play the these one trees. So I still need to learn this deck, how to play it, and we got some stuff. Let's find another game and see which deck we will have for the next game. I don't really like the priest deck, both of them actually. So the hunter is good, so let's let's hope for the hunter. And we have Jaina. I like the big mage Jaina. Although this is the small version. What should we keep? Probably the mana worm and the misery frostbolt. I don't think we keep these, do we? Let's try it like that. We can maybe draw the <coughs> the Luna or something good. Maybe okay. What do we play? The mana worm. Two mana, one tree. Greetings. Yeah, I will play the mana worm. Hero power attacking the worm. No. I mean you can definitely attack it and then just use the spell stone to finish it off. And for the next turn we have the unexpected results. So this is quite nice. Here it will activate our unpowered molar and above the mana worm plus one plus zero he has a coin and a swipe Oaken summons even worse three six okay do I use this fireball right now or maybe frostbolt ping and use the hero power. I don't have that much mana. Let's go for this. I mean that's probably wrong. But I don't want to just lose this mana worm. 
to a 3-6. That would be very bad, although he has the wrath. Hero power to the face. And let's play the unexpected results. See what we get. Not, not great, nothing too powerful, 2-1, very bad, 2-2, two, two. also very bad. And what you get? Nourish, hero power and kill the squashling. That's a really good play, already at 7 mana, we only go to the 6, and we have a bunch of junk, still at 30 health. Do I freeze him, or what do I do from this position? Probably just press concede button. Let's pass and let's get destroyed by the lich king this time okay we can fireball it we have the anomaly this is a great card let's play it and then frostbolt for five arcane missiles and maybe bump with this if he's not cleared, or I can fireball frostbolt for 9 damage. Mm. Let's go like this, I think. 5. And I can shooting star it. Or arcane. Let's go with the arcane, 50-50. Let's just go with this 2-2 and go to face. And see what, what he's got for the Lich King card. If it's 3 damage to all minions, I cannot win this game. But if, if it is like still a minion for my deck, I will be probably fine. So, how many cards he's got? Seven. He has a great wall. Eight damage. Let's go. This is three. 7, so 6 to the face, 6, 10, 14, 16, yeah, I like that, seems like a lot of damage, because it's 18, I forgot about the trigger on the, on the mana worm, so that is exactly little, yeah, I wasn't expecting to win that game, but the Mana Worm with conjunction with the 4-3 did the job very well. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.